Okay, in this video I've replaced my next level racing GT Knight with Place A Challenge Activate. This version of the Place A Challenge has different material other than the Alcantara or Alcan Alcantara as I've seen one person say. It's a uh, breathable, breathable material, but it's got cushioning everywhere. I like the place it or the next level racing. There's actually cushioning in the, in the whole seat, and it's a good bit more comfortable. I only have this with a few days, and I've only used it twice since I have it, so I'm only. Finding the the seating position that works for me. My biggest problem is this bit. I'm trying to find some way of getting around this because this leans too far forward and it's pushing my head forward, so I get a neck I get neck pain within a few minutes. What I was using was let me see if I can find it. I was using this. I put it here to push myself forward so that my head won't be craned forward because it, it does hurt. They need to revise this and put less of an angle on it. It should be back a little bit like that instead of like that because a, a five foot seven person like me. I, I'm kind of looking down, that's why I have the, the seat reclined so much. And these pieces are where you adjust the back of the seat. You undo the velcro back here. And then you can adjust the, how far forward or back the seat is on both sides. What I've done here, there's the pedal. The pedal mount that comes with the place seat challenge. You just twist these and then you can take it off of there. What I've done is replaced this with the pedal mount from the next level racing GT Lite and it clamped on there perfectly. All I had to do was loosen these two knots and take it off the other one and that that bar is the exact same diameter as the one on the next level racing so it just went straight under with no problems but with that seat being lower this doesn't go far uh, far for, no forward it's as far forward as I can get it because these these things Therefore, to take this part off, and I can't get that any far, further forward. So it's a tiny bit too close, but at least the pedals are clamped down instead of just held on with this thing. And uh, I've also replaced the wheel mount plate. Wheel mount plate. With the one from the next from the next next level racing, that went on there perfectly because these four holes on this match the same as the PC Challenge one. The reason why I done that is because there's more adjusters here. You can adjust it further. There's only four on the PC Challenge one. Where there's one, two, three, four, five, five different adjustments on this one. And all the holes for the steering wheels are exactly the same. I've put the two plates down on top of each other to see where the hole drilled holes are for mounting wheels and they're all all the holes are the exact same. So 
I've got a bit of a mix, mix, mix and match going on here. Then this is much narrower and it's far, far easier to fold away and much more compact. Only thing is, trying to, I have to, do, there's a velcro strap there to hold the pedals up but because I'm using a different pedaling that's too short so I had to add an extra velcro stra strip to it to hold the pedals up and then the um, there's a velcro thing that comes with that it goes through those two holes and it's supposed to go underneath that to hold it up but that's too short as well so I had to find ways of holding the peg holding it together also I changed this the one that was on it from play seat the teeth to grip onto these focus it won't focus the the one that was with the play seat to grip onto these teeth was uh, very shallow, there you go. The teeth on the thing on this one with the play seat were a bit shallow. And the teeth on this one are a bit deeper. So I put that one on there so it grips onto it a little bit better. So far though, it's much, much more comfortable than the, play, than the next level racing. I'm doing this on my phone by the way, as usual. This was much, much easier to put together than the next level racing as well. The, the, I find this, even when it's closed, you have to kind of pull it forward, which is very good, it holds on to it better. There's a bit more play in this. I'm, back it now. I'm right on top of the wheel, but I'm just straightening the wheel. There is a little bit more play in this, on this part, than the next level racing. But when I was using it first, first bit of force feedback I got in it, it felt a bit better with this place each challenge. And it actually goes through this, the whole thing as well. Now, there's Velcro straps under here. Where I'm changing what I'm doing. There's Velcro straps here to adjust how loose or how tight that is. And there's more under there. And then, I think they're just to adjust the height of this as well seat and then there's another one for for um the lumbar support here i have it loosened up because putting the thing here then it, it presses up against my back too much and hurts but this part as i've said it's angled a bit too much far forward if they could make this adjustable or put less of an angle in the back about it back to about there I'd say it'd be much better because my head is up against this and it pushes my head right very far forward and I get neck pain from it I think that's all of it see this is a kind of a scissor system so two of them come together and if then this folds up and it folds nice and compact it's much much more comfortable I've this is the only gripe I have with it is this bit but this this pushed me pushed too much of me far forward so I got this instead and I'm gonna try this let me see if I can get it there 
I'm just going to dry this instead, see if that helps. Because it is, I do get a neck pain, as I've said about it a dozen times already. Probably annoying the, the crap out of you over it. But we're going to try this to see if it helps. But I would recommend this over the next lead racing any day. And if you can get if you can get a hold of this the pedal tray instead of the one that comes with the place I would recommend replacing this with, with it as well. I haven't tried that yet. But the screws that are holding that on only plastic screws. And uh, some people say this is foam but I'm not sure if it's foam because it's very very hard. It doesn't feel like foam, it kind of feels like a uh, soft rubber. And the only reason why I replaced it with that is because the pedals are bolted onto this instead of pushed up against that and then strapped onto it with this, which is the only way the head pedals are held onto this. I know there's mods for that, but at the moment I just don't have any spare cash at all to buy anything for the mods to drive. And there's mods for going from there to there, and from there to there to stiffen this up to stop it moving. But with this pedal, with this um, steering wheel plate. It's a little bit stiffer than the one that came with it. Just a very tiny bit stiffer. I barely know what is it. But as you can see, there's more adjustable holes there. See, that's where it screws down onto the, the this bit here. So if I want to adjust it more grandly, I just turn it round and. Put his bolts in there instead. But then I might not be able to put that on there because the bolts for this wheel are right here, right up against the, where the, the um, adjuster thing is. Now. Oh yeah, and it's much harder to do cable tidying with this as well because of the way it folds up. There's not much I can do with that because I have it cable tied here. I, took, I should redo this because I didn't realise that wasn't there. But cable, you get um, Velcro cable ties and I have one there, one there. And one up here. But oh yeah, I remember why I don't have that because this for the pedals isn't long enough. When I fold this up, it puts strain on the, the cable for the pedals. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna try and do. Try and use that and stop my neck from getting craned forward too much. Even if I have to push the seat forward a little bit more. But it's much more comfortable than the next lead racing. And it's a few inches narrow. So if you're very short of space. And you don't fold up your seat every time you have to use it. Then this is what you're looking for. I'm doing what, what a lot of people do. And it annoys me. It's Oh yes, this is what you're looking at. <laughs> Slowly does it. That way you can get to see everything. Because if you do it fast, then people will miss things. And you will look at the back of it now. There's the Velcro strap for the lumbar support. 
if you tighten it, it pushes up against the seat more. Loosen it will give you less lumbar support. And when you're putting this together then these two, this part right here comes separate in the box. You just slide the two poles, two pieces into the rest of the seat there and you're done. And, oh well, kind of done. You have to put those velcro straps around to hold it on to the rest of it. But it's fairly quickly done. You get done in about five minutes. Maybe less. Now, that's the end of this video. Enough of my stupid rambling. I'll give you a view of what it's like to sit in the seat. From there. Another thing I noticed. Just before I go, another thing I noticed is the steering wheel is up a bit higher than the neck, than the legs level racing. It's a, it's a little bit, it's a few inches higher than than it was in the other one. But that's good for for taller people, I suppose. I'm five foot seven with short short legs. Now I'm going to end the video here. Hope you all have a nice day. If you have any comments, please leave them. Thank you very much.